Hi, welcome. I'm Kat, sharing a fresh class every Monday and links to all the other classes below this video. And welcome to this beautiful end of the day practice. I've just been swimming in the lake, even though it's October, I had my wetsuit, I made myself get in there and it felt fantastic. And so this is a winding down practice. There'll be a little bit of energetics to just enliven any tamasic areas and then there'll be restoration to calm any rajasic tendencies so that we enter into a more sattvic state of mind for a good night's sleep or if you're doing it in the morning for a good day ahead of you. Gathering your stuff including a yoga bolster which we we'll use right from the get-go and let's meet in Sukhasana and open space. Right ankle across the front of the left. Sit bones broad, nice, firm, stable base from which the spine and everything that the spine is can begin to lengthen and lift and we find spaciousness and energy. The eyelids closing, finding here our breath and beginning to listen to ourselves and hear ourselves in all ways through the breath. Our attention is gently releasing, dissolving, being offered up to the divine. Feeling that openness come, that softness. And then the hands lifting, the palms pressing together. Inhale. Widening the knees apart, bringing the bolster in. Exhaling forward, stretching the arms, forehead down. Keep spreading the fingers widely, keep broadening the shoulders. Breathing. Now turn the head to the right, so you're on the left ear. Walk your hands more and more. Feeling what that turn to the head did. Keep moving the trapezius muscles down the back. And now turning the head in the opposite direction to the left, so the right ear as much as possible is coming to the bolster. Soft, smooth inhalations and exhalations. And then looking forward and coming back up. Moving the bolster, bringing the knees together, moving the bolster to the right and exhaling forward, twisting yoga mudrasa. Stretch that left arm. Now turn the head to the right. And then coming back up. And let's move the bolster to the left. Turning, twisting. And lowering the forehead to the bolster. Keep walking and lengthening the right hand forward. And then turn the head to the left and be on the right ear. Don't let the shoulders hunch up towards the ears. Keep the back of the neck as long as possible and it's twisting us. And then coming back up and bringing the bolster to the middle. 
Okay, now we're going to do the same thing with a strap around our legs and feel the difference. By the way, if you're having any kind of knee pain in this pose, you can of course put a blanket between the buttocks and the heels and that will release knee pressure. Strap, making a loop. Widening the knees apart, enough for the bolster to come in. And then let's place the strap and tighten up the buckle. Bring the bolster in. Coming forward again. Stretching the arms and this time turning the palms to face each other, which is going to help our upper arms to roll away from each other. And as the upper arms roll away from each other, the shoulders stay broad. And now looking up, we're now going to bend the arms and hold on to the elbows, to the outer upper arms here, and turn our head to the right, left ear coming to the bolster, Yoga Mudrasa. And then looking up, changing the cross of the arms and turning the head to the left, being on the right ear. And then looking forward and coming back up. So you can see how that strap really helps keep the buttocks moving down, grounding as we come forward. Let's now move this bolster forward and bring our knees closer, tighten the strap up and bring the bolster to the right, twisting your mudrasan, reaching. Lengthen the inhale, lengthen the exhale. And then looking up, and bring your right fingertips to the floor, the elbow is bent. Twist a little bit more with that action and place the left heel on the bolsa. Keep stretching the left arm forward and pressing into the fingertips of the right hand to help the trunk twist. And then looking forward again, coming back up, last time on the left hand side. And exhaling forward, lengthening that right arm, lengthening the left arm for the first bit, and forward to the posture. As you inhale, feel the back lungs really spread and lift and broaden. Feel the femurs going into the hip sockets. And now let's bring that left hand off and the fingertips onto the floor, the elbows bent. Press into that to turn and twist. Stretch the right arm forward and turn the head to the left so the right ear is on the bolster, twisting and lengthening. And then looking that back up and coming out. Right, let's take this strap off and let's move this bolster. So it's like this, coming to an Uttanasana with our fingertips on the bolster. 
So the feet are the width of the mat. Make sure they're not just a little bit separated, but the width of the mat. Turn the toes and the heels out. Fingertips on the bolster. And first, we want to try to get the spine parallel to the earth. We're not looking to go down. We're looking to press into the fingertips and lift the chest up and forward. Breathing. Move the shoulders back away from the ears. Grip the kneecaps and thighs up as you press the feet down. Over and over again until you feel the roots of the thighs gripping up. And now lowering the head down. And if you need to leave the hands on the bolster, do so. Just bring it a little bit closer. Otherwise, move the hands back to the floor. Utanasa. With an exhale, relax the face completely, relax the head completely. Press the feet down, grip the knees and thighs up. Try to get the abdomen closer and closer to the front thighs. And then inhale, looking up. And we're now going to come to Adho Mukha Shanasana. So move the bolster back, bring the hands forward, spread the palms, spread the fingers, walk the feet back, and find our first Adho Mukha Shanasana with the heels lifted. Stretch the arms, feeling the elbows straighten. Stretch the legs, feeling the knees straighten and the muscles contract around the leg bones. And now we're coming to Apurdol Urva Kashvanasan, and our front thighs are going to be on the bolster. So coming right into upper dog, the front thigh supported, roll each thigh in, turning the toes under, now push out through the legs so the knees are completely straight and you feel your inner heels as if little jets of flames were being pushed out through the inner heels. Press into your hands to lift the chest higher and higher. Coming forward to Chaturanga, the front thighs are still supported, the knees are straight, hug the elbows into the ribs, and then lower the head slightly so the back of the neck is long, re-squeeze your inner knees. Back up to Urvam Krishnasam, upward dog, press into the hands, keep the inner knees squeezed, the legs firm. The butt expressing down and forward and lift the pubic bone up, lift the belly button up, lift the solar plexus up, lift the sternum plate up. And back to Adho Mukha down on top. On this downward dog, bend your knees. Verticalize your feet. Feel the femurs coming into the hip sockets. Inhale and with an exhale, straighten those legs and push the front thighs back actively. With each exhale, push the front thighs back. And ready for another upward dog. Coming in. Widening our hands a little bit so that the outer edges of the mat turn the inner elbows forward and the shoulders roll back. 
Finding our legs. Really looking at the knees. Roll the thighs in. Feel the thigh rubbing on the bolster, rolling in. Now push out through the inner heels. Feel the legs straighten. Squeeze the inner knees tight again. Now activate the hand energy as you press down. You find that anti-gravitational lift up. And back to Chaturanga. Coming forward, the elbows squeezing the ribs, the legs firm, the back of the neck long. Urdhva Mukha Shanasana. Turn the inner elbows forward again. Reroll the thighs in. Recharge the legs. Lift the chest. And Alamukha Shanasana. Legs straight. And this time, try to press the heels down to the mat. Connect with even breath again. Keep stretching the arms, stretching the legs. And then walking the feet forward. Feet the width of the mat, you can have the hands on the bolster or on the floor. Inhale, look up, concave the back spine, all of these ribs, try to press them in to peel the front chest open. And then exhaling forward, the hands coming back, Uttanasa. Looking up and releasing. All right, some arm balances fast against the wall. So let's just move our bolster to the side. And come on in, hands to the mat. And we're doing four of them. Here we go. Nice and fast. And again. One more. And back up. Taking that bolster, you're using the wall. Bolster, well, let me move the mat in here because it's going to slip. Let's have good habits in place. The bolster is arm distance away from the wall. Mighty chest enough, three. Right knee bent, left leg diagonalized. Turning and twisting. Lift the left arm up. Exhale. Each exhale creating more twisting action. And releasing, other side. To the left, lift the right arm up, and exhale across. And releasing, and again, changing sides. To the right, near the left arm. Pressing that arm against the leg and pressing the leg back against the arm. And releasing, changing sides. Lift that right arm up and come across. And 
and exhale, unwinding, ready for another arm balancing, pinch up your So block and strap. Now I really do have to make my mat very exact. There we go. Actually, for being exact, this is perfect. And tucking in here a little. All right. So we're going to make our loop a little bit smaller, right above the elbows, placing thumb and index finger, and even if you're not hopping all the way up, just practice hopping and gaining that strength. And we're doing the same thing, a kind of faster action rather than going up to stay there. Starting four of them. Last one, and down, and releasing, opening the shoulders, coming forward, crossing the thumbs, lifting those arms up. And now change the cross of the thumbs, re-roll the front shoulders back. And bring the arms back down and rolling back up. Go Bukasan. Extend the left arm. Bring the hands behind the back. Lift the right hand. And finding our fingers. Taking a strap if needed, of course. Relengthen the inhale. Really breathe into it. Broaden those lungs. Lift the side ribs off the lungs. And then releasing and changing sides. Extend the right arm, exhale. Lift the left arm and exhale. Re relax the face, re lengthen the breath. Keep lifting the heart center up to the sky. Feet the width of the mat, drop the head down, make sure the entire back of the neck is long, the crown of the head is really facing the mat. Grip your kneecaps up, grip the thighs up. Right, it's now time for a light shasana. So let's move everything out to the side, come away from the wall, unless you're using all for shasana, one blanket. So in this shasana, we're going to be coming up straight shasana for a little bit, and then we're going to be doing some variations. Upa Mishta Konasana Shishasana, so nice wide V with the legs coming into Balkonasana. Back to Upa Mishta Konasana, back to Balkonasana. So forth. Doing it quite actively and fast. It's going to be a little bit different. And then back up to Shishasana and coming down. Let's come in. Arms extended. And then keeping the elbows parallel, bring the hands to the shoulders. And in this way, placing the elbow tips on the edge of the blanket. Crown of the head to the blanket. Not the forehead, the crown of the head. So we have to go further back than we think. Turn the toes under, straight to the legs. Lifting the left leg up, and then lifting the right, finding Shushasa.
Keep pressing those outer wrists down and lifting the shoulders up. Keep the knees firm. Push up through the balls of the feet. Feel the legs lengthening as the legs push up. They lift the body out of gravity. Finding an upward lift. Thirty more seconds. Letting the brain be flooded with fresh blood. Keep softening the face, the jaw. Just keeping the shoulders lifted, the lats in. Okay, now we're going to roll the toes open away from each other, so just the heels and the feet are touching. The inner knees are rolling away from each other, the thighs are rolling open, and in this way, preparing for Upabhishta Konasana, lower the legs to the side, pull the toes back, keep the knees firm. And now bending the knees and pressing the soles of the feet together, Baddha Konasana. Try to move the inner knees back. And now re extending the legs, Upa Vishnu Konasana. And now bending the knees again, Baddha Konasana. Lift the shoulders. And again, re extend the legs, Upa Vishnu Konasana. Bending the knees, soles of the feet connecting, Baddha And extend the legs, Upa Vishnu And then lift the legs, finding Shishasana. And now bend the knees, finding Virasana. So keep the kneecaps facing the sky, bring the heels to the buttocks, relift the shoulders. And then bring the knees down towards the ground. Feet to the ground. The yoga mudrasana, the palms facing each other, the shoulders nice and broad. And then Uttarasana, feet the width of the mat, grip those knees and thighs, inhale, look up, and exhale forward. And then bend your knees, and coming back down. Okay, it's now time for some forward bends. So if you need a strap to reach your feet, grab that. If you're flexible or your legs are shorter and your trunk and your arms are longer, take a block so we can extend our legs meeting back on the mat. Left leg extended, right knee bent, heel to the groin. If you're using a block for extension of the leg, have it there. If you're using a strap, have it ready. Inhale and exhale, reaching forward, Jamal Shishasa. Roll the inner groin of the bent leg back.
and then looking up and coming back up and releasing. Changing sides. So right leg straight, position everything that you might need. Inhale the arms up and exhaling, reaching forward, pull with your hands to really travel down the leg to feel the femur bone coming into the hip socket as we exhale down. Keep that back leg to grounding back. And then looking up, stretch the arms back up. And releasing. Block to the side. Uva Shakarasan. So we just did it in Shishasan. Now let's do it. I should not turn this way, it's going to be better. Kneecaps facing the sky, going to the right. Keep pressing the front of that left thigh down so that it maintains stability even though we're going to the right. Don't let it get light. And then looking up, back up, to the left. And now we feel the right thigh getting light, so press the right thigh down consistently as you exhale over the left. And then back up, and your mudrasa, coming forward. Keep the toes coming back, the heels firm. And walking the hands back in, Baddha Konasan. So just like our Shishasan, coming in now to Baddha Konasan from Uttavishta Konasan and coming forward. Rise back up, and we're going to take a blanket now, fold it like this, so one fold in, and this is going to be for our tailbone, we're going to lie down, and bring the feet off the mat, and push the feet up to the sky, with a lift, and now with our hands we're reaching for our back thighs, and we're rolling the thighs this way. So essentially the inner groin will go more towards the opposite wall as you roll the thighs this way. The thighs are rolling in as you roll the thighs this way. So keep rolling that, straightening the legs, pulling the toes down, pushing the heels up. Now keep that roll in the legs, lift the arms up, cross the thumbs, and stretch the arms back.
If you pull in with the arms so that the rib cage moves out of the stickiness of the diaphragm on the top of the abdomen. And then lift the arms up, change the cross of the thumbs, re-stretch. Renew the integrity of the knees, of the feet. Draw the femurs into the hip sockets. Push the front thighs away from you to really tighten and stretch the arms. And now bending the knees, if your legs were burning a little bit, and feet to the mat, releasing the hands. And rolling over and coming back up. All right, we're now going to move our mat back into the wall for a lovely little bit of head support in this next pose. Just having that ready. First of all, Lying down on our mats again, Chaturushtarasana. Bring the heels close to the buttocks. Reach with your hands for the outer ankles. Roll the shoulders back. The chest is open. Bring up and down five times. Ready? Inhale. Exhaling, lifting, holding it there, going more, 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 more. And back down. Don't let the knees widen. Ready? Inhale. And exhale, lift. And back down. Ready to come up again. Inhale, exhale, lift. Roll the shoulders back more. Press the arms down. Lift the chest up more. And back down. Two more. Inhale. And exhale, push through the heels to lift up more. And back down, our last one, ready? Inhale, and exhale, lift. Roll each shoulder back, press the arms down, press the shoulder blades up. And releasing and coming back down, letting the whole spine rest on the mat for a little breath here. No arch in the lower back. And then rolling up, and the wall is right there waiting for us. So fingertips facing us, spread the fingers widely, broad base of the hand. Feet in, feet parallel, and lifting up. Now head back. Let the crown of the head be supported by the wall, the wall pressing back at us, and lift the hips and buttocks higher, shoulders back, and two, and one, coming back down, reconnect, we parallelize the feet, spread the fingers even more widely, inhale, and exhale, lifting up. And coming back down, relax everything briefly. And again, ready, inhale, and exhale, lift. And back down. We've got two more. Spread the toes again. Spread the fingers, spread the thumb away from the index finger. Inhale and exhale, lift. And coming back down. Make sure your toes haven't swiveled open. If anything, turn them in. Last one, inhale and exhale, lift. Crown the head to the floor, or without, you can try it without two. And come back down. And out. 
we are energized, we can feel that flame bright again. So now let's take it down. Vipagita Takarani with a bolster and legs up against the wall. So let's go ahead and come right in there. Coming in sideways. Arms extended diagonally away, shoulders rolling back. Line the inner feet up. Kneecaps facing forward in this one, we're not rolling the legs open. We're keeping the inner feet connected, the inner knees in line with each other. The back of the neck long. And the eyes contract. Now for the second part of your body takani, we're going to now roll the legs open away from each other. You can widen the feet apart a little bit. The big toes going towards the little toes. The inner knees going towards the outer knees. We roll the shoulders back one more time so the chest has maximum opening. And the eyes open to re-close the eyes and settle back down.
Preparing now to gently bend our knees, sliding the feet down the wall. We can keep the eyes closed. We're just going to gently push ourselves backwards off our bolsters, one hip at a time, until the lower back, the hips are on the mat. And then we're just going to cross our legs and sukhasana on the bolster. Shoulders nice and open, relaxed, heart center, unconstricted. Resting here. Now just uncrossing the ankles in order to change the cross, the left in front of the right, and moving our hands to rest one on top of the other on the lower abdomen, not the top abdomen above the belly button, but below the belly button. And just shifting our attention, our focus to this area for the next few breath cycles. In this way, connecting with our third brain, our gut. And now lifting the hands and pressing the palms together. Letting that gratefulness flow through. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. When we feel ready, if we feel ready, the eyes opening and rolling ourselves out. Take a moment to just appreciate how we feel now after this calibration. And have a lovely evening, have a lovely day. 
Keep practicing. See you soon. Namaste.